we're Food Marvel, and we're building a device to allow you to listen to your gut. Okay, I don't need to show hands, but uh, how many of you have you experienced some of these problems at some time in your life? Everyone, right? It happens from time to time. It's annoying, but you know, for one in eight people worldwide, they experience these problems really often, seemingly spontaneously, for many years and sometimes their whole lives. So the medical classification of this is IBS. A lot of people have that and know they have that, but what I found out very early on is that a lot of people, they have these problems, they don't know what it is, and they certainly don't know what to do about it. So it all started for me about two years ago. I started living with my girlfriend, and I always knew she had IBS, but you know, when you start to live with somebody, you know, you get to know what their life is really like. I could see it was really affecting her. Uh, she was missing days of work. She was missing social events. I wanted to help, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm an engineer, so uh, I did what engineers do best. I listened. Did I emphasize? No, no, of course not. I started working on a solution. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I, at that time, I was just I almost finished my electrical engineering PhD, so I had access to research papers. So I started doing the research and found out two key things about IBS. So first of all, the uh, best solution to these sorts of problems is to find out exactly what foods are suitable for you. And second of all, the best way of doing that is through breath analysis. So back home, we were busy putting out all of the foods that couldn't affect my girlfriend, which turned out to be just about any food you'd ever want to eat. Uh, so motivated by that experience, uh, I started, you know, started thinking about that second thing I just mentioned, breath analysis. So uh, you know, for years it's been possible to go to a gastroenterologist, go to a dietitian, go into a clinic, and you know, spend hundreds of dollars on a test, just like just like what we're doing but with these big desktop machines that cost $25,000 and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great test, but really you want to do lots of tests and you know, who wants to go to the hospital or clinic? So I thought, you know, maybe there's something we could do about this. So, you know, technology has moved on a long way since these machines were first developed. Tiny, low cost, low power gas sensors have started to become available. Um, so I thought, okay, how could we build a personal connected breath tester? Okay, so I started prototyping. I was having a lot of success. So I thought, okay, why don't, why, why don't, I, why don't I try things a bit further? So uh, I did some research and I found out, okay, there's, uh, there's more than 40 million people in the US today with these sorts of problems. And a lot of these people are taking these drugs that cost hundreds of dollars a month. Um, and you know, they work for some people, they don't work for other people. And the side effects can be really severe. So, I mean, in, in, the, in the small amount of cases that include death, so, I mean, if you have a problem that's not going to kill you, you definitely don't want to take something that can, right? So, if I was going to do this, I needed a good team. So, uh, I was able to assemble a really good team of people. Uh, we're a mix of medical device designers and engineers. And uh, just recently, we've got uh, Dr. James Brief, our gastroenterologist on board. Um, so, that, so that was pretty great. Really, really He's here today if you want to ask him any questions. Uh, so, okay, so how does it work day to day? So, before you eat, you take a photo of it and log what it is. Then you take a breath, breath reading before you eat and another after you finish your meal. Okay, and then what we can do is we can compare the composition of your breath between the two breath readings. And on the basis of that, we can work out the effect of that food on you. So over time, we can, we can apply machine learning to, to give you a more and more customized diet. And on top of that, we can develop your own unique digestive profile, which you can share and compare with friends and family. This platform and this device will benefit a huge amount from getting a lot of people using it, building up data and through interaction. So we want to get this out to as many people as possible. That's why we're launching on Kickstarter for the price of $99. Um, so we're Food Marble, the device is called Air, and so if you have problems with your digestion or if you know somebody who does, do yourself a favor and check it out. Um, so I just want to close by saying that uh, you know, sometimes our gut seems like our enemy, but you know, we'd like to think that really it's your friend. Um, you know, as humans, we rely, on, we rely on our digestive system to convert the food that we eat into the energy we need to live. And you know, sometimes our gut malfunctions, 
But when it does, there are signals. It's just sometimes we can't interpret them. Our gut speaks its own language and it's speaking it all the time. We just need to listen. We want to become the translation device for the language of your gut. Okay, so we'll be launching in September on Kickstarter. Uh, I hope you can join us there. Uh, Thank you very much.